Okay, so welcome to part two of our Bird of Style first impression. Thanks for your patience. Um, I know I said I was going to get this up a lot sooner than I actually did, but I, I took a couple days off, so I didn't realize that I was getting a little bit burnt out um, posting so many videos, so I took a couple days and um, chilled, which was great. Um, anyways, so if you remember, we left off with... I actually, on a very bad note, <laughs> that last pattern we looked at was no bueno. So hopefully uh, this next little batch of, I think, like 20, 25 patterns um, will be just as good as the other patterns in part one. If you missed part one, I will link it top right corner of your screen. It'll also be in the description box. Here's how you access the description box. Lots of great information there on every video, whether I mention the description box or not. So get in the habit of checking that out. And then also based on feedback from the part one, I you guys all reminded me that Berta is a German company. So uh, this is most likely European sizing and they just forgot to convert it over to US sizing. So it's probably still the eight to 18 range that they had on all the other patterns. And for whatever reason, this last half, they didn't convert over. Okay. With that, let's check out this little cute uh, pull-on dress with length options. I think what we were all collectively saying about part one is that everything was basic, which was fine because it was like basic with a twist, like basic but elevated in a small, interesting way, which you guys were really, really liking. It wasn't basic like boring. It was interesting, but basic. So here we've got a v-neck, a little grown on cap sleeve. You guys were also raving about the sleeves. Um, and I totally agree. This is such a flattering uh, style, very easy to sew. And then this one comes with a little belt. I don't think that this is like, uh, there's no carriers. This is not elasticated underneath. It's just a you know, A-line dress, and then you cinch in the waist with this self belt. Okay. Oh gosh, you know I love a flounce. The flounce detail is really, really cute. I do not love teardrop pockets, period, of any kind. I much prefer them to be sewn into a seam up here. These pockets just flop around, and it's very difficult to get them to stay in place unless they're top-stitched. These I think are because you can kind of see some stitching here. It's not, it's not the best fabric for this application. The fabric's a little bit sheer. And when you put two layers of it together, you can kind of see this is a little bit darker than the rest, yada, yada, yada. But maybe out of a more opaque fabric or more stable fabric, the top stitching would be okay. At least they didn't just leave them in there flopping around, which I've seen. I've seen that before. It's very disappointing. I've actually sewn dresses like that before, which is how I learned how much I hate it. <laughs> um, experiencing that really was like, okay, never again. Um, but here are the girls side by side. And then here are our line drawings. The back just has a standard back, no fisheye darts or anything. Um, if you have a big differential between your hip and your waist, look up my tutorial on how to insert fisheye darts. There are, um, belt carriers actually. So that's good. I love that detail. And then here's the pattern back, cotton, linen, and blends. Yeah, I think that's just a lightweight cotton, the yellow one, and it's just a little bit see-through. Okay. Cute. Next we have this sweet little number. It gives me like, I don't know, Maine, like uh, like the state of Maine, uh, like a seaport, like a port city, not necessarily sailing, but definitely like somewhere on the water. <laughs> um, I love this cute little tie detail, although this is again, this is like the basic with a twist. And this is what I kept saying about so many of the other patterns is that this is not difficult to add to any shift dress pattern that you might already have. So 
Don't feel like you have to run out and buy this pattern just for this little belt thing. You can definitely figure out a way to do that on your own. But some details that this pattern does have, which might make it unique, are this wide scoop neckline. It looks like it also has princess seams, possibly. And then this looks like a pleat. And I love this little, little sleeve. It's a very slim fitting sleeve, um, which is really cute. This blue fabric is really adorable too. Here is the more dressy version. They, oh, they have a self belt with a little buckle, which is adorable. And longer hemline, longer sleeve, but still similar neckline. This sleeve though, this is not, not good. Not good for her, it's hard to say. Sleeves are just so individual. So it's really hard to tell if this is her or the pattern. You would have to muslin that for yourself. But there they are together. Here are our line drawings. So yeah, oh, there's also a little zipper back here. Um, so yeah, princess seams that open up into a pleat. And then I'm pretty sure this little belt thing is sewn into the side seams. Super easy to do. And then your belt is um, separate. I'm having deja vu. Okay. <laughs> uh, cotton fabrics, lightweight wools, blends. Yeah, I mean, I might even go into like a ponte knit, um, a double knit maybe. You could go some places with this other than just these three. Um, a little zipper, like I said, a belt buckle interfacing. Yeah, they don't even have these converted into the uh, inches. So clearly they have not, they just uploaded the wrong information. Okay, this is a pull on top. Oops, 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 sorry, 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 zoom. Okay, so I, okay, so I remember my mother wearing tops like this where it's just a princess seam with this little belt sewn in and then you tie the belt and that's what pulls it into the waist. And I actually really love that detail. I also really love it in the back. So if you can find a pattern that has this in the back, that's a really cute detail as well. But this one has a pretty scoop neckline, kind of a wide shoulder um, binding, bias binding for the neckline and the arm side. And then this is like a low hip length. Very good application for stripes. Here it is in a lace um, with like maybe a satin binding for the neckline and a satin bow. That's pretty. Um, possibly underlined with something else. Here they are together. Would make a cute dress too, right? <clears throat> And then, okay, so here they are side by side. The back has really beautiful seaming. A little um, keyhole with a button. Cute. So rayon crepe for view A. And then for the sheer one, sheer fabrics like chiffon, but also lace is what I think that she was wearing. And then satin, yeah, satin for the bow and the binding. Here we go. This one has inches and meters, yards and meters. Okay. Um, next up, we have straight leg pants. This, the proportions on this don't look exceptional on her. I don't know. I just don't love a blousey top with a wide leg pant, I think. I don't know. Let's just look at the pant, though. So, pant, uh, some, like, really wide belt carriers, 
little belt, squared off patch pockets, straight leg. And I think this is meant to be like, you know, full length. Um, although it's hitting her in a really weird place. Here is another version. This one has a drawstring. And I'm pretty sure the pockets are like inseam pockets. I don't know. There's something about this that I'm not, I'm just not digging. Um, now seeing this one, this looks way more flattering. <laughs> this is just pretty unflattering on her. I don't think it's where it's hitting on the waist. That's fine. I don't know what it is. Maybe I just don't like a straight leg pant. Oh, hard to say. Here's our line drawings. It actually kind of does taper in a little bit. Maybe that's what it is. It's kind of in the middle. It doesn't really know what it wants to be. Am I a cigarette pant? Am I a wide leg pant? I'm really neither. Um, but this is cool. It only has one belt carrier in the back. That's kind of fun. And these little darts. Side zip. And then this one has a side zip with the drawstring and side seam pockets, like I said. Hmm. Straight leg casual trouser pants are a universal basic long or ankle length. Pockets, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just sort of like, maybe if these were longer and, yeah, I just, I'm not, I think it's this portion that I'm not liking. And, oh, these are women's. So they're 18 to 28 is the size range on them. These are all going to be women's. Okay. You know, you guys have been commenting a lot on the other like McCall's and Simplicity um, complaining that they each only had one women's pattern. Um, so it seems like Berta at least has multiple options, which is great. This one is the top. We're looking at the top here. So we've got a rounded neckline with some gathering, more um, of that military trend, the epaulettes, I think they're called, or tabs. And tabs here to pull the sleeves up. That's cute on a knit top. I'm assuming this is just supposed to be a very relaxed, oversized fit, which is why it's pulling away from her body so much. Like that arm size, really far out there. There's also a bust dart, which seems a little bit like, do you need a bust dart if it's so oversized? I don't know how much that's really helping her. And then you can't really see the bottom because they, you know, gathered it all up over here. But, okay, here is the full length. It's more of like a tunic. God, these jeans are terrible. Um, it's got a little sleeve ruffle. The arm side looks a little bit better, but... Yeah, it's for a knit. I mean, I can't even tell you the last time I saw a bust start in a knit. Am I right in thinking that that's odd? It's not, I mean, maybe even if it were close fitting, but it's just so loose. What do you, what do you really need that dart for? Okay, so you just need a button for the tabs and then twin needle or your cover stitch. So jersey is what they're recommending. Straight cut loose tops with back yoke are especially comfortable to wear. Gather to the front neckline, long sleeves, three quarter sleeves to create a fanciful effect. Okay, here's a cute little dress. Uh, dress with button, front button fastening and a band at the waist. That is a very specific name. So rounded neckline, button placket, half button placket. Uh, it looks like a drawstring casing, patch pockets. This is super cute. 
let's see our other version. Well, this gets less cute. It's a little, again, like real baggy. At least this one, the blue one's a little bit flattering. This one just seems like huge. Look again with the arm. Like they can't give her like a fitted, somewhat fitted underarm. I don't know. Even how this neckline is hanging on her. I don't know. Anyways, longer length. The skirt is like fl like more flared. Look at this line drawing. And the sleeve is bigger. Is this a drop shoulder? Oh, it's a drop shoulder look here. See? So maybe that's why. I don't know. It's got a little bust start here, center back seam on the bodice and the skirt. Yeah, I just don't know if drop shoulder is the most flattering for the women's sizing. Like, don't y'all want something fitted too? These casual dresses for many occasions feature a round neckline, front button fastening, and a band at the waist. A few AS sporty details, patch pockets, and sleeves to roll. It doesn't say anything about like a drop shoulder, but you can tell on her. It's definitely falling off her shoulder. And I don't, I mean, this version's okay. This one, though, just looks very slouchy and sloppy to me. Also, like, not a defined waist. Like, nothing's, to, like, she has no body under here. You know, there's just no shape. Which I guess, like, for some people, that's what you guys are looking for. That's your style. But, I don't know, it just could be a little bit more flattering, I think. Okay. Next up are, is <laughs> a, another dress with button front fastening. It's very hard to see with this busy print, but it looks like a little flounce here, one at the hem, some kind of tie thing. I think the buttons go all the way down. This one does have a more fitted shoulder, which is nice, a little V neckline. Well, that's cute. Still a little wide in the shoulder for her. I think if you pulled that up a little bit, she'd get a lot less pulling on this top button. But the little belt with the D-rings is so cute. You can do that to any, any dress you've got. Cute. Collarless, really easy to sew. Yeah, the first one, the printed one, has the little skirt flounce and this little thing. Belt carriers for the tie. And then this one, the blue one, has actual button cuffs. Facings. That's cute. So cotton fabrics, poplin, crepe fabrics, blends. Yeah, you could go like pretty lightweight with this one, pretty structured with this one and be good to go. 18 to 28 again on this. I think the rest of these, oh no, we're going back to misses after a couple more. At least you guys have a lot of options in the uh, women's category. So maybe some tweaking with the fit, but lots of options. This is super cute. I love like a tropical tunic with a white legging or white you know, close sitting trousers, so cute. Um, again, kind of hard to tell what's going on, but I think it's pretty basic. I think you've got a scoop neckline, a wider sleeve, tunic length, maybe even a bell sleeve. Again, hard to tell. This, not so flattering. <laughs> a big, you know, oversized tunic over a big flowy skirt and purple with all these other colors. I don't know what's happening here. Maybe if you cropped it, it would be cuter. Even her face, she's like, eh, is this cute? <laughs> Oh, the back has some interesting details. Why not give us this picture? How much harder would that be? 
to see be able to see this zoomed in but it looks like here we'll get to the line drawings it looks like like really exaggerated long pleats which is really cute yeah again some tweaking with the fit this one's not so bad at least how she's standing this just looks enormous like where's the shoulder seam this looks like it's like falling back on her and whatever this is happening and whatever all of this is it's just so much fabric in the front I think if you have all of that in the back maybe the front could be a little bit slimmer hmm oh two different necklines too so that could maybe have something to do with it but they're recommending rayon crepe silk so lightweight drapey fabrics. Okay. And then we've got this, this little coat. How cute is this? Women's coat in two lengths. I love a lavender coat. I mean, come on definitely something going on here again even if you're putting your arm on your hip like that it, this is not this is not right I think it, it's really hard to tell but I think that the shoulder might be a little too long with this whole thing needs to be up on her shoulder more more room in the cap for sure and then possibly all of this needs to be like shallower But the little tabs here are super cute. Tab here, adorable. I like how it's a, just a clean front facing, no buttons, no closures. Really cute. Here's the shorter version without um, any details. Long sleeve. Maybe a, a thicker or more structured fabric than the purple. Here they are side by side. Here are the line drawings. The back has a yoke. Oh, and this really cute kick pleat. This is cute. Super cute. Yeah, I think that the uh, this version is... I don't like coats that hit mid-thigh. I either like them come all the way down to the knee or I like them at the high hip. But, and look, you only need six little buttons for this, this guy here. Gabardine, linen, poplin, blends. Yeah, even some kind of like lightweight twill would be nice. Super cute. I might also even make like a little belt just to be able to tie it closed if you want. All right, so now we've got, I want to make sure, okay. Now we've got blouses and tops. The girl with the fantastic hair is back. Thank you. This is really cute. So we've got that grown on short sleeve. We've got a keyhole with a button and this really beautiful flounce. I like hate the color of this top, but the details are like really cute. And it, you know, it looks good with green pants, I guess. Here is another version without the flounce and a more structured fabric. And they even added a sleeve with a band. Here we are side by side. Here are our line drawings. No darts. No yoke. You know, no no closure. Well, I guess technically this is a closure. It's just in the front. This is what the hem on this one looks like. A little split here, straight across the front, and scoops down in the back. Cute. Cute, cute. So some shank buttons interfacing. Cotton, rayon, and crepe fabrics they're recommending. Love it. 
All right, now we've got a mock wrap dress. Okay, so here's the wrap. So it creates a beautiful V. The, the neckline is still somewhat modest. Long sleeve, again with the drop shoulder here, like it's coming off of her shoulder. It's got some beautiful like ruching and like gathering on the side. So it kind of camouflages everything happening. And then a close fitting skirt. Here it is with a shorter sleeve with these little gathers into a band with a bow that's really sweet. And again, you can really see that ruching happening here. Very flattering, very figure skimming. Here they are side by side. It's designed for knits, which is great. Center back seam, no fisheye darts, but with knits, that's kind of okay. This probably got a lot of shaping built into this um, center back seam that we just can't see. And then, I don't know, I feel like it's a mock wrap, so if you wanted to make it more of an A-line skirt, you could just redraft this to be a little bit wider. But just keep that in mind with your fabric choice. So, two-way stretch jersey. So that's going to be really, like, really drapey, um, somewhat thin. So that's giving me even less confidence <laughs> that I would want to wear something so close fitting on my bum. But they're cute. With the, if you have a cute little figure, they're cute. Okay, here is a shift dress. It looks like they're going for like sporty athleisure cute and a lot of great details so we've got uh neck line dart here and i'm pretty sure you guys who are familiar with pattern drafting let me know that this is just this is what creates the fullness in the bust right like it can be here it can be french it can be here either way that is what is creating the fullness for the bust or is it built into here somewhere but kind of a wide shoulder again. This just looks odd. I would be very, I didn't notice this in part one, but I would be pretty concerned with all the, all the sleeves that we've seen so far. This, this is, it's supposed to be like this. I don't know why it's doing this little number here, but you've got a two part sleeve and then also this little, um, inset I guess on the side waist seam and then like just below the knee length see this looks a little bit better this is out of a suede this is a super cute dress even with green snakeskin knee-high boots <laughs> um very cute Oh no, there is a dart here. So maybe this is, I don't know. I do love the really high crew neck though. That's really nice. Yeah, this sleeve looks just looks a lot better than this one. I don't know uh, what's going on here with this sample, but. Maybe because of the inset, something happened with the drafting and something happened. I don't know, do y'all have any? ideas and what does this even mean stretch elastic like stretch but not knit what does that mean use only fabrics with elastane which you guys so we talked about this a little bit in the comment section of part one and you guys in Europe were all saying that elastane is your version of spandex So if that's the case, then they're saying use stretchy fabrics, not necessarily knit fabrics. So that would mean like stretch wovens. 
would that mean like, like this is not a knit suede. This is just a stretch faux suede, I'm assuming. This might be like a ponte or like a cotton sateen. Am I right in, in my train of thought here? Y'all let me know in the comments. But I do love this. There are little darts here. I do love the back darts. A couple little darts in the back. The little short sleeve mini version is real cute. So that one has panels here, but not in the sleeve. And that's all I can think of is something about when they put that sleeve panel in, something weird happened. But even where it's hitting her, maybe she's just got a white, like broader back, wider shoulders. The sleeve just in general fits her a lot better. Cute though. Real cute. Okay. Um, there's a zipper somewhere. Let's see. Center back. Yeah. Center back seam has a zipper. Two and a half yards of quarter inch something. Quarter inch, quarter inch has got to be elastic. I don't know. I don't even see. Mm, this is all top stitching. I don't know. Maybe it's in this, in the waistband. I don't know. Okay. Next up, we have dresses with mini or midi lengths. Oops. Well, that's cute. Bateau neckline, adorable. Sleeve, arm side looks okay here. I'm assuming some darting's happening. I'm assuming a waist seam somewhere. And this really cute, just A-line mini skirt. And then here's the, here's the midi version. Not quite as cute, right? Um, hmm. Yeah, it looks like princess seams. They've even top stitched this one. They put a little cap sleeve on. Waist seam. I mean, even from far away. Maybe it's the fullness of the skirt that's throwing me off. Like if it were a little bit closer fitting, less full in the hem width. But this one's adorable. Here are our line drawings. Really pretty princess seams that, that both of them kind of flare out. This would be really beautiful. I'd have like some stripes so that you can like really play that up. And then this one, they added all the top stitching and a little belt. Center back zip. And piping in this version. And one inch. I'm again I'm guessing elastic, but I don't know. Oh, maybe that's belting for the belt. Cotton fabrics, jacquard, linen, lightweight denim. Yeah, mostly your cotton fabrics is what you're going to be using, I think. Uh, but jacquard would be cool. So with brocade, especially with the mini version. Yeah. With that super pretty neckline. So cute. Okay, now we have a pull-on dress with length variations. I love this first version they're giving us. Yeah, they use like an embroidered cotton with either self-trim or purchased pleated trim so cute it's got like a sheath silhouette with a ruffle on the bottom it's adorable little ruffle sleeve again something happening here with the sleeve oh oops and then you've got a shorter version with a different sleeve elastic here some kind of belt and then just, I can't tell. Is this a wrap skirt? I don't know. But the neckline's really high again.
Yeah, those are both really cute. Let's see what the backs look like. So pretty straightforward. Um, keyhole with a button, which to me is not a pull-on. Pull-on means no closures at all in my opinion, but that's just me. Uh, let's see this one. Yeah, this looks like a really, really short skirt in this drawing. Um, it didn't look like that on her. Like, I don't think this is a drop waist. I mean, maybe it is. I mean, look, whatever this is. I don't know. This one, yeah, this version might need a little bit of work. But a one inch elastic for the waist um, seam of B and quarter inch elastic for the little arm uh, sleeve closures. And then you need a button for the closure in the back and interfacing lightweight cotton crepe and viscose rayon. So because they didn't mention anything here, I'm assuming they teach you how to make this pleated um, trim, which is really fun. Really fun. I love that. I don't know how flattering this would be on a pear shape, but it's really cute. Cute, cute. All right, now we've got a pull-on dress with variations. See, aren't you glad we did this in two parts? This They have so many patterns. Um, okay, so this looks like a robe. So we've got a wrap with a big tie, nice big bell sleeves, and then a mini hem length. We've got, ooh, beautiful color on the girl with the awesome hair um and this amazing flounce so I made a dress like this already for it was the style maker fabrics fall style tour like the year before I moved so that would have been 2018 um and I love that dress that mine has more of like a raglan sleeve design not this like grown on um dolman but out of this sort of crisp fabric the ruffle looks really good I mean this is like a solid but the, all the shadows and the curves and the movement that all this creates it just kind of brings it to life am I right so cute here they are side by side I wonder if it's a true wrap I'm thinking maybe yeah real big oversized sash on this one we'll have to see what the um closure sit or the notion situation is that it might be a true wrap drop shoulder and they added on a little sleeve and then here it is without the which you saw on her without the sleeve added and then a neckline fleece and then a hem a neckline flounce and then a hem flounce and if i remember correctly this pattern piece is like a curly cue it's kind of wild hemming that was not that much fun but yeah no closures or anything so this is a true wrap cotton fabrics crepe fabrics and rayon ever so feminine wrap dress cut over cut shoulders three quarter sleeves kimono style pleasing flounces is a, a fanciful variation they like fanciful okay now we've got 6206 wrap dress again that does not look like a wrap dress to me is that what it said did i misread that no wrap dresses not a wrap dress, but it is kind of like a, you know, small scoop neckline, cute little sleeve with the elastic, 
elastic in the waistline and like a little pocket. Um, kind of hard. Are those pleats though? This fabric is so cute. But yeah, there's definitely some kind of detail going on here. But this makes me feel like something else that I can't see. This one, oh, okay. So we've got a little shoulder seam detail with like a little drawstring. You can also see it's like a, I mean, it's like an exaggerated raglan, really. Um, this belt is just terrible, but Again, I don't know, oh God, it's kind of hard to tell. It, this is just cinched, I think this is just cinched in from the belt. There's no um, design details at the waist on this one. Okay, little sneak preview of the line drawings. We'll look at those a little bit closer. But yeah, this is just a um, little sheath shift. I always get them confused. Um, no waist seam, nothing. All right, so this is really cute. And I think that you can do this with anything that has a casing at the waist already or just a waist seam, but you just take one drawstring through the front and another drawstring through the back and then you tie them on the sides and that's what you know gives you your shape on the waist. Um, great for those of us with fluctuating waistlines and slightly more comfortable than elastic because it's not so constricting. But yeah, this whole sleeve situation is wild. Look at this. I imagine those sleeve pieces are enormous. But you've got a center back seam, a truly grown on sleeve that extends all the I don't even know if there is a, well, there has to be a shoulder seam because of this. I don't know. And it produces this beautiful kind of like drapey, kind of loose fitting. I like this. This is so interesting to me, this bodice. And then those terrible side seam pockets, they're teardrops, there's no top stitching. Do not make them, just leave them off. <laughs> um. Okay, well that's a new one. What do you think that is? One and five eighths inch for B. It must have something to do with this belt. And then is this a lot? No, nope, that's not elastic. This is elastic. I don't know what this is. Bias tape. I don't think it's bias tape either. Arbitrary trim. I don't know. I think it's for whatever's fed through here, like ribbon or something. So fun though. So cute. Viscose rayon, crepe, lightweight cottons, linen, yeah, the lighter weight, the drapier, the better, I feel like, on this version. This can go a little bit more structured for this, um, like, straighter, just more structured design. Cute, though. Super cute. I love that one. Okay. Dress with Empire Waistline. And it looks like maybe a circle skirt and a very short hemline. I mean, that is like, that is like, whoa. <laughs> that is like, I need to add a foot to be comfortable. I mean, that's almost showing more than we need to see. But this is really, let's just scoot this down. Um, <laughs> this is really pretty. Empire Wasteland, some gathering for the bus. Beautiful neckline, cute little sleeve that fits really well. And then you've got the bottom of the um, waistband. This is shaped like a triangle. And this one's like scooped up. So very, very flattering, especially for those of us with a little bit of a protrusion here. And then, yeah, this little circle skirt. Here's another version with a longer sleeve. And this really this gives me like, um, like 1970s um, Fleetwood Mac, right? Like, just grooving. <laughs> and then the longer hemline, thank God. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. Oh, and look, the um, skirts are cut on the bias. So they're going to drape really beautifully. Pretty. 
These are really nice, and these are also flattering on like 99% of people with this little doodad. Here are our line drawings. This is too short, even if you like mini dresses. I don't think she's 10 feet tall. I think this is just way too short. But this one's really cute. Okay, you need a, a zipper for the center back zip. Some interfacing for your facings. Rayon, crepe, silk. Yeah, but I feel like you can go a little bit heavier weight. Like, I don't know what this is. Maybe, I don't know what this is. But you can go a little bit heavier. It doesn't have to be so lightweight. You could go mid-weight, but really drapey. Okay, we've also now we've got this pull on top and I think it's got a grown on sleeve, kind of a open-ish neckline and then a belt, self belt to cinch in the waist, maybe some side slits here. Here it is tucked in, but they also added some little trim, which is really pretty, even with this like silky fabric. That's cute. Yeah, definitely with a more fitted skirt or pants. And then here you've got this super casual version with the little ruffles. So here's our little trio. How cute are they? Love it. Really something for every type of occasion. Am I right? I mean, of course, I love the ruffle version the most, but the trim version comes in a close second. And then this with a shorter um, hemline would be next. So cute. And you guys, this is not challenging to sew at all. Like, there's three pattern pieces for here. You got a front and a back. So that's two pattern pieces, correct me. This one, you just had some little ruffles. And this one again, two pattern pieces plus a belt. Like you could probably make this in a couple of hours. The little trim detail, that would be fun to play with. So that's what this is. And then interfacing. Rayon, silk, crepe, and lightweight cottons. Yeah. Lightweight linen even. you could This one, this plain one, you could do a bunch of fun stuff with. Think about embroidery for the neckline, jewels to the neckline. Um, you could really go to town and have some fun. Beading. Okay. Next up, it looks like we have nine. Nine. Nope. Six. Yeah. Five more. I love this color combination. So sweatshirts. This is really cute. Very on trend. So oversized sweater knit. Um, wide neckline. Again, I feel like these bands are not being drafted properly. This is pulling away from her. But drop shoulder. We've seen a lot of that in this part too, right? And then a contrast sleeve band, but also you've got this like diagonal. So like the back is going to wrap around to the front, which is really, really flattering and visually interesting. And if you can find a color combination like this out of the same fabrics, it's a win. Here it is a more casual. They have purchased um, ribbing, a little side seam in here. There's also ribbing down here. Very, very long this one is. That's kind of very 80s, but you can bring up the hem. Just remember to do it to your pockets too. And then a drawstring here, which is strange because there's no um, hood. I wonder what would it be like if you pulled on the drawstrings? <laughs> what would happen? It would just cinch into her neck? I mean, that could be kind of cool. <laughs> Seems almost dangerous, but... I mean, look how chic this outfit is. So cool. And so here you can see the back. So, well, they didn't number the colors 
they didn't number the back. Do you know what I'm saying? They didn't number the color blocking. Oh, whatever. You guys know what I'm saying. Um, but I assume what's happening is this is one and this is two. This looks like the whole back of this pink one is different. Or is that just, have the backs always been shaded? Oh, getting confused. Sweatshirting, firm jersey, fiber fleece, cording for the neckline, rib ribbing here, metal eyelets for this, and a twin needle. No, this is all the same. Have the backs been shaded? I haven't been paying attention. Let's see if this says. Sweatshirts with or without a hemband are right on trend, especially when they have special styling details. View A has short sleeves, clever lines accented by two-tone pastel color combinations. So they don't say anything about that for this pink version. It's cute. It's just a little long for me, but it's cute. Easy enough to fix. All right, now we've got pull-on tops for stretch knits. Wide scoop neck which is actually really beautiful, showing the clavicle and stuff. And then grown on sleeve. Oh no, here's a seam. So a raglan with an elastic, like a kind of a wide elastic cuff. And then the more simpler version with a little satin bow and a little ruffle detail on the sleeve. Cute little t-shirts. Yeah, I think this one probably has no negative ease. This one only has a very little bit. Like they're not super, super fitted. Even though the line drawings would have you think that they are. This is sweet. You know, with a little puff sleeve and yeah, raglan. Squared off in the back, that's kind of cool. Elastic. Ribbon, twin needle, two-way stretch jersey. I wonder if this has a hard time staying up. I don't, yeah, there's no elastic or anything in there. So I wonder if this falls off her shoulders. It doesn't look like it does, but it's hard to tell. You could also put some of that stuff that they put in like strapless dresses that like I don't know, it's like clear elastic kind of, but it just gives a little bit of traction on the skin, you know, to help it stay up a little bit or, you know, stay tape. Two, I'm sorry, what's it called? Two-sided tape? Body tape? <laughs> Whatever that stuff is that they put celebrities wear when they wear like low-cut stuff. Two-way tape? <laughs> I don't remember what it's called, but you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah. To highlight a pretty, I can't pronounce that because I don't speak French, but what did I call it? A clavicle? A décol décollé? Déco mm, something like that. Give me Spanish. I'm better with that. All right, this is our third to last pattern in this massive collection. Uh, Mrs. Tops with hem variations. So you've got a forward shoulder scoop, a little, a little more of a rounded neckline, sleeveless, with this oversized hem with a band. Ugh, I mean, not cute on my figure, but it does look good on her. Or you can leave it without that band and you've got like a trapeze top, which is so cute. I also love how they did this little, you know, fabric blocking, the different fabric here. Um, let's see the line drawings. Yeah, so it's just like a, it's kind of like a strap. It's like a raglan-ish strap. So yeah, you could totally do that out of lace. You could do it out of contrasting fabric like they did. You could do a lot of really fun stuff with that. Again, with the basic, with the twist. 
So this is what? One and five eighths yards of something for both views. No idea. Bias tape? One and five eighths inch bias tape? No, that's not it. I don't know. Rayon, crepe, and lightweight cottons. Yeah. Yep, this one you could go, I mean, you could really do almost any woven out of this. It, just the lighter weight it is, the more close it'll fall to your body, and the more structured it is, the more it will fall away. I wouldn't go any heavier than like a mid-weight though, but like, you know, the linens and the poplins and the shirtings and the, you know, all of that. Okay, next up, this wrap skirt, which I think I already love, just from barely seeing a thumbnail of it. It's like a tulip design. I'm sure it's a true wrap. What is this all over? It's like tattoos, maybe. A fun little novelty print. Um, okay, so yeah, wrap and then a tulip. So pretty. You want to make sure that the underside of your fabric looks pretty too though because you clearly will see that and then here's the other version so stinking cute with this ruffle and then they just tied it into a knot this is a super cute outfit the yellow and the blue the variegated stripe I love that so cute and I think because they added this Ruffle, it's a little less showy than this one. Like, I truly think the ruffle is just added on, like here, drawing it in. Do -do 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 -do. Um, okay, I need to snap just to snap it closed. I mean, it looks like it would be fitted, but I mean, it's really not. And then you've got the darts, the four darts. It's cute. Rayon, crepe, lightweight cottons, and blends. Yeah, I don't know about, I mean, her version I think is like a rayon or a crepe, but I'm thinking more structured on, on both fronts. At the very least, like a wall, like a cotton wall or something like that. But even that's like really thin. I don't know about that, but I would do something a little bit less drapey. Yeah, I mean, this one's pretty drapey, though. That's probably a crepe. And then this is probably some kind of, like, linen cotton blend or something. Cute, though. Oh, the last one. Pants and shorts. I think the pants have a ruffle hem. They do. Okay, so an elasticated waist. Like, a, I think it's, like, two inches, one and a half inches. Um, pajama pants, basically, with a little ruffle on the bottom, which seems so childish, right? Like, you see that in kids' patterns, but I don't know. She's pulling it off. Here's the short. So they have, like, I don't know, do you call this high-low shorts, where it's higher on the out seam than it is on the in seam? With a little ruffle. Very, very cute. I can think of someone who would love this pattern and rock it. And then look at these pants with the huge long side split. A little belt carriers. Yeah, I mean, these are cute. I have, I mean, they're pretty basic. Um, I have elasticated waist pants already. Sewing a slit into the out seam is no big deal. It has side seam pockets on all views, except for the shorts. I have some pajama shorts that are just like this. And then you can sew the belt if you want. Here are our girls all together. Cute, cute, cute. Eight to 18. Yeah, I just love the blue and white stripe. That's just very striking, that is, I can definitely shop my stash and make these out of stuff I already have. And I bet it needs, yeah, just your elastic. So A, the short has a one inch elastic casing and B and C has a one and seven eighths inch elastic casing. So 
and then viscose, crepe, lightweight cottons, and silk. Yeah, really lightweight, really drapey. All that makes sense for this. But, you know, sew up this um, leg all the way and you could go into like, you know, something far more structured. So really, there's a fourth option here that they just didn't illustrate, and that would just be this closed up all the way. So there we have it, Berta part two. Um, I really liked part two. I quite enjoyed it. I think almost every pattern had something I really liked. Um, a few fit issues, but overall, pretty good. Um, let me know in the description box what you guys thought of this portion of the collection and the collection as a whole. Um, but that is going to do it for me today. Thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye!